India is a place littered with incredible ancient yet unexplained ruins. Intricate ancient carvings can be found dotting the cliff faces. Seemingly laser-cut caves hewn from enormous rocks, and perhaps the most impressive of its collection, the rock temples hewn straight from bedrock, which can be found all over the country. We recently focused our attention on one of these sites in particular, perhaps the most impressive of these ancient temples. Known as Kailash, it is a structure drenched in sculpted animals and religious idols. Many others also exist, somehow carved straight out of stone hillsides. The accuracy in which these structures were carved, the refined finish achieved, has allowed these structures to evade explanation to this day. There is, in fact, another site within India, another temple, that, just like Kailash, was somehow hewn from a solid hillside. However, what is particularly interesting regarding this temple is that it was mysteriously abandoned leaving the apparent different stages of its construction for all to see. Known as Vetuvan Coil, it is located within Kalagumalai, a panchayat town in the South Indian state of Tamil Nadu. Intriguingly, upon the structure and the carved walls which it is now framed by, is the same telltale chisel marks found at so many other sites around the world, an anomaly we have already covered in depth. However, what is particularly interesting regarding Vetivan Coil is the fact that these crude marks are also accompanied by the seemingly impossible perfect finished sculptures, which mystify all who peer at them to this day. It is a visual, chronological timeline cast in stone, possibly left by an as yet unknown people, using unexplained yet amazing artistic skills. The temple seemingly displays the methods used to carve it. The artist responsible crudely chiseled the design, presumably somehow from the mind's eye, then somehow professionally worked into the refined, astonishing art which adorns so many of these ancient Indian structures. Who built Vetuvan Coil? How did they achieve such perfection, with such hard stones, at such an early time in history? Is it, like academia would have you believe, a mere 1400 years old? Or is it a far more ancient structure, built using as yet unknown stone working techniques? used by an unknown group of artists. As research mounts surrounding such sites, the answers will inevitably be discovered. We recently covered the astonishing and largely unexplained ancient temple known as Kailash, which quietly sits within India, a temple cut out from a solid rock with such precision, such vision and accuracy, it is a feat we would struggle to recreate even to this day clearly demonstrating an ancient high technology that has undoubtedly been lost over the millennia. Could this temple actually be evidence left by a far older group of people? A remnant left by a far more advanced civilization than that which academia will allow us to publicly discuss within many modern fields of study. Within the Barabha and Nagarjuni hills of the Jihanabad district of India sits another series of rock-cut features six crudely cut caves carved into large stones which litter the surrounding hillsides. They could be seen as crude and possibly more modern attempts to recreate what can be found on the top of the hill. Known as the Lomas Rishi Cave, cut into an enormous rock, it is the only one out of the many within the area which demonstrates a level of refinement which literally boggles the mind the only cave in the area that has a delicately cut entrance, but also an interior which has seemingly been protected from the elements, perfectly preserved in its original state, demonstrating a state of rock cutting which has left the rock polished to a mirror-smooth finish, evidence reinforcing the postulation that this cave and additionally Kailash Temple are remnants left by a far older, and once far more advanced culture than officially accepted. The hut-style facade at the entrance to the cave 
is officially accepted as the earliest example of the ogi-shaped Chaicha Arch or Chandra Shala that was to be an important feature of Indian rock-cut architecture and sculptural decoration for centuries during its post-cataclysmic development. The example here is largely accepted as the specific influence for later examples, of which there are many at later Buddhist sites, such as Ajanta Caves and Kala Caves in Maharashtra. How, or indeed who, cut the Lomas Rishi Cave? How did they achieve such an amazing finish to the stonework? Were these same people responsible for the construction of the Kailash Temple? Also, another structure exquisitely cut out of a giant solid stone. Although modern academically accepted views state that they were created during the reign of the Mauryan Emperor Ashoki, a Buddhist ruler from the 3rd century BC who ruled over almost the entire country of India, caves known as Sat Gava were carved into the hills for the use of the monks, Lomas Rishi Cave being said to have been one of them. Yet due to its exquisite quality, it's hard to see just how they can claim this. While perusing the many perplexing sites we are yet to cover on our channel, we stumbled across something which could quite possibly be a massive clue, evidence left as to the method of construction of many ancient sites found all over Earth. Our channel has, for a long time, put forward the hypothesis that a highly advanced worldwide civilization once flourished here on our planet. We believe that many of the ancient sites which display unexplained architecture were left by this lost people, placed far within our distant past. And once one begins to investigate these ruins with this possibility in mind, you start to notice some compelling things regarding these amazing sites. For example, the metal clamps we have previously covered, often created using impressive mixes of alloys and somehow poured molten, could now be seen as earlier architectural examples less than the mortarless, mysteriously notched stonework, also found in similar areas all over the world, with the more precise and thus more impressive stonework, seen as a later, more sophisticated method of construction. What's more, Although virtually all ancient sites have been dated to the most convenient suspects within known taught history, there also exists the numerous caves and temples, hewn from the solid bedrocks, carved with such accuracy and vision, they elude recreation even by our modern-day technology. And while looking at an amazing rock-cut cave within the site of Mamalapuram, India, a site we are now convinced was left by this same civilization, a curious piece of evidence seemingly presented itself. Upon the roughly finished roof of this ancient cave is evidence left by the same technology used to not only cut the astonishingly huge Longyu Caves, but also the abandoned Langshan Quarry, both in China. This discovery, we believe, is only just the beginning of a realization that these telltale signatures are present at many other unexplained sites around the world. We have long stipulated that many of the ancient ruins claimed by our more modern-day ancestors are most likely not their actual creations. If the structure does date to this more recent age, they are usually found to be sitting upon the telltale remnants of a highly precise ancient foundation originally left by this elusive group. Who were these amazing people? When did they flourish here on Earth? What happened to them? Why did they never record how they created such wonders? Although it is easy for skeptics to argue that the caves and architecture were merely created through excruciating hard labor, any practical demonstration of this has eluded us for many centuries. Furthermore, many of the extensive cave excavations found all over the world, presumably dating back to this bygone age, are all absent any waste as if the machine tasked with creating these underground labyrinths turned stone to dust. And although the technology and or possible machinery tasked with the job has evaded modern archaeology to this point, it is clearly another piece of evidence which takes us one step closer to unraveling the true history of our planet.
India is undoubtedly the jewel in the crown of ancient sculpture. And although Rome is home to the Renaissance, an attraction which lures enormous numbers of people there every year, India is unquestionably home to sculpture, which would put even the most efficient of the Italian masters to shame. However, conveniently, academia, and thus most of the modern world, overlook these astonishing feats of ancient art in favor of less controversial artistic wonders. One of our tried and tested methods of establishing whether an ancient artifact, or indeed an ancient ruin, attributed to a less capable, more modern imposter, is actually evidence of forgotten lost knowledge, is finding the puzzling accomplishments often hidden within the architecture or construction. One of the many examples of these is polygonal masonry. And although the modern man does indeed practice this lost art, a good example of this being found within the Cotswolds in the UK, known as Cotswold Dry Stone Walling, once built and still used to mark out very ancient land boundaries, and amazingly, longer than the Great Wall of China. These very old walls, created without the use of mortar, are compelling examples of a fragmented technique either borrowed or, possibly intriguingly, leftover memories of a now forgotten technology. And although these more modern attempts range in age stretching far into thousands of years, the lesser capability of the builders is clear for all to see. Our point being that when these ancient walls stretching far before the Romans are compared to Mesoamerica, Peruvian, and indeed ancient Indian ruins, the exquisite polygonal architecture, the precise carving and stone building present, are clear, strong, controversial evidences of a forgotten civilization. How did these ancient builders acquire such a sophisticated knowledge and awareness of stone shapes, and the subsequent placement of each stone, perfectly placed against one another, forming impenetrable barriers which have stood the tests of the ages? We feel that, regardless of what academia claims is the truth, pertaining to the origin and creators of these ancient wonders, the skills required to create them are thankfully beginning to become apparent to the majority rather than the few. This ancient, forgotten people clearly attained a level of stoneworking and construction knowledge we are yet to acquire. Clearly, a far more advanced and capable people than we are today let alone the modern historical imposters academia claims as the culprits. We feel, regardless of others' claims, the evidence to suggest an intercontinental, highly advanced, technologically superior civilization once flourished here on our planet is highly compelling. We've often put forward the premise that within our very distant past, a cataclysm occurred or more precisely, a great flood. Many surviving ancient sites around the world bear the scars of this event. The Great Pyramids of Giza, for example, still held chambers flooded with ancient seawater deep within their bowels until very recently. Much of this evidence slowly removed over the past few decades. And our next ancient structure is no different. Known as Adams Bridge, it is an astonishing feature which stretches 30 kilometers, connecting southern India with Sri Lanka believed to date from a pre-Diluvian age, some 1.7 million years ago. Several individuals who have taken the time to explore this ancient ruin have concluded that it is indeed artificial. However, with a dating of over 1.5 million years, it is clearly a site that academia will continue to reject as actually being man-made, regardless of the mounting data in favor of such a reality. It seems that regardless of the overwhelming evidence that the mountain of unexplained accomplishments by our quote, primitive ancestors, modern scholars of many subjects continue an existence in complete denial of these truths. Dr. Bhadra Narayanan, former director of the geological survey within India, performed an in-depth analysis of the suspected bridge's makeup. His research concluded that the Adams Bridge was indeed an artificial man-made structure, one which stretches far back into the unknown history of our planet. Below the surface, they found organized layers of sandstone blocks coral boulders, and other cement-like substances, 
Several divers investigated the length of the bridge and concluded that its entire layout was indeed of an organized and thus artificial nature. The survey also revealed extremely ancient evidence of intense quarrying was also left within the surrounding area, these materials matching those placed carefully within the causeway itself. Interestingly, ancient Hindu legend from the area agrees that this enormous feature is indeed a now submerged, gigantic earthwork, stating that it was built for the god Rama in order to help him cross the land of the large island, to rescue his beloved from a demon. Is Adam's Bridge really a huge pre-Diluvian sunken artifact? A 30-kilometer man-made bridge which once connected the two countries? It's an amazing proposition, and the more we learn about the amazing history which was lost here on our planet, the more it seems like a real possibility. Thanks for watching, guys, and until next time, take care. The Earth, the blue marble, the third rock from the sun, and the place we all call home. Our entire existence, the entirety of humanity's experience, apart from a few space missions, of course, all occurred here upon our planet. The entirety of humanity, and as so far discovered or publicly disclosed, home to the entire fabric of advanced multicellular life within the entire infinity of our universe, all resting upon this tiny water-covered sphere, spinning its way through what would appear to be an endless space, a vast darkness, an unending void, yet one that is far from empty. For example, just within the observable universe, every nanometer of the sky drenched in fusion-producing balls of fire, stars, and other bodies, many of which are nearly identical to our Sun. Yet our living planet has a double-edged sword, violent volcanic eruption, whose core is still molten, a geological consequence of a relatively young planet. All of life's complex ecosystems, many of which we depend upon each day, live on a knife edge. The sheer size of space, the vast emptiness, could be seen as a safety cushion. For in such an empty place, our tiny planetary body fills hardly a fraction of even our own galaxy. However, it's filled with moving bodies, comets set hurtling through space by past ancient events could one day hit our Earth, and have indeed done so in the past. And as mentioned in our previous video, we believe man may have experienced at least one of these events before, yet by luck or preparation, we survived. This assertion due to our in-depth research into the evidence of the many lost civilizations. In an instant, all this natural beauty, all this seemingly fanatical trial and evolutionary error gone. All these marvelous creations, innovations, varieties, and even entire genuses gone in an instant, wiped from all but fossilized memory. Resetting our flourishing planet to a near ball of dust and ash, something we claim the academically denied ancient civilizations were also aware of. Here on our channel, we posit that the event the dinosaurs experienced, a catastrophic natural event, one which nearly wiped them all from the face of the Earth, leaving only a handful of small-scale creatures, that man have experienced such events, and that the survivors of such not only went on to flourish, but went to great effort to not only prove they were once here, but were incredibly capable. Thus, as such, we believe ancients from all over the world, who are in communication with each other, Please peruse our work on metal clamps, polygonal masonry, on the Bosda Caves, and our many other videos, tool signatures, and so on, for support of this claim of a once world-going superpower. They deliberately chose incredibly hard stone, often sourced from many miles away, incredibly hard to work, these granite, basalt, sandstone, and other stone megaliths, additionally often of gigantic size would survive the test of time, resisting a tremendous amount before fading into the chasm of history. We claim this to have been done to say we were here. Long Yu Caves and Yangshan Quarry, China, Petra, Jordan, Aswan Quarry, Egypt, Bosda Cave, 
and many other sites display the same curious stone cut as our anomaly in question in tonight's video. Located within India, a country drenched in antiquity, much mysterious, baffling, and just as awe-inspiring as any other sites found anywhere else on Earth. One such feature, the Butterwell. It's located within a group of monuments at Mahabali Puram. Not only does it appear as a giant drill hole into solid rock, but the tool marks, far too symmetrical to have been created with primitive tools, as suggested, is but yet another anomaly which we claim displays several proofs of a hidden history and indeed technological creation. We find the butter well highly compelling.